beautiful, babe. Beautiful. If I go down the rail below this, below this uh, upper layer at 10 percent, uh, there seems to be mostly debris in the order of uh, large angular fragments. Maybe uh, the largest being like five percent of the total depth of the rill, and then they they gradually uh, break on down to a very small fragments in a Taylor slope. I see no significant collection of talus at any level. It seems to be fairly uh, uniformly distributed in patches all the way down to as far as I can see uh, to the bottom of the rill. And looking uh, on to my uh, 1230 to 1 o'clock on up the rill, and I guess we'll get a little closer when we get down to uh, sampling it down there. Why it, it looks very much the same. Outcrops of this one uh, unit, irregularly spaced, discontinuous, but along the general 10% from the top line, with uh, talus sliding down uh, into the bottom of the rill. I see no differences in uh, color. However, the uh, vertical uh, section of the of the unit, which is exposed, looks to be somewhat lighter in gray. The blocks which have uh, fallen down in the talus seem to be uh, have a, a a more tan or or uh, different tone of gray uh, color to them. Sort of like the uh, the fresh vertical section was uh, more recently exposed. Let me uh, let, let you digest that for a minute, and let me take a bunch of 500, so I'll get you the vertical and the horizontal, and uh, boy, there's lots of things to shoot at over there. Hey, Jim, where'd you take the pan? Right over here? There was a little circle on the ground. Okay. Horizontal strip along the uh, two outcrops. 